Hi, so in this video, this is a tough question from a student and you can have a look there and see that we're going to be needing to use the area of a trapezium. So we're going to work through it, see how you get on, have a go, however, by stopping the video and have a go at the question for yourself. OK, so the first part of it is I would always write down the area. So the area of a trapezium equals, now in my particular case, I write it as a half A plus B times H. Now I'm very aware that some students might write A plus B over two. It's exactly the same, really doesn't matter. The main issue with this is the values of A, B and H, and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so we've got the area which we're given as 42, and that equals a half. Now A is this length along here, which is X plus five and b is this length along here which is x plus 8 and then we need to multiply that by h which is the value in this particular question of x. Okay and then really it's just a case of taking this equation and solving it for x and the way we're going to do that is we're going to make it equal to 0 and then we're going to use the quadratic formula. Okay so let's have a look as we work through this. I'll just move this up ever so slightly. Okay, so here we've got um, 42 equals. Now, that's going to be a half multiplied by whatever's in the brackets, which is 2x plus 13, and then x at the end there. Now, I'd just be a little bit wary about that 13. It's an odd number, so it's a little bit difficult to get a half of it. So you might want to just check at this point. It's always worthwhile. However, unfortunately, it is right. It is 13. OK. <laughs> All right. So let's try now um, multiplying out. We're going to get 42 equals a half of 2x. Well, that's easy enough. That's going to be x. Half of 13 is 6.5. And again, that's still in brackets multiplied by x. OK, so let's now make it look a little bit more like a quadratic equation, because if I multiply both of these terms by x, I'm going to get x squared plus 6.5x and then we're going to make it equal to zero and then factorize it. OK, so that's going to give us then zero equals x squared plus 6.5x minus 42. I'll just move this up ever so slightly. OK, now the problem I've got here is I've got this 6.5x. Well, that's no good to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double everything. And if I double everything, I'm going to get whole numbers, which means I can use the quadratic formula more effectively. OK, so that's going to give me uh, 0 equals 2x squared plus 13x minus 84. Now from there I can write the quadratic formula which is going to be x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Now I do suggest that you learn the quadratic formula. It is in uh, or used to be in some of the early exam papers but I think they've stopped that now so it's well worthwhile learning it and also follow the link and there are some more examples of quadratic formula. Okay so that means that I can uh, say that a equals 2 which is this first number here b equals positive 13 and c equals minus 84. And then really it's just a case of taking these numbers and putting them directly into the formula. So let's have a go at doing that and I'm going to write this as x equals, so minus b is going to be minus 13 plus or minus the root of 13 squared minus 4 times a which is 2 and c which is minus 84 and that's all divided by 2 times 2. Okay now you'll notice that for the a, b and c terms I've put them into brackets just makes my life a little bit easier. Okay so let's now calculate that. Now I know people will uh, use uh, scientific calculators for doing all this but what you will end up with I hope is that x equals minus 13 plus 29 all divided by 4 or x equals minus 13 minus 29 all divided by 4. Now that's going to give us two values of x, one where x equals 
4 and 1 where x equals minus 10.5. OK, so therefore, if we're going to prove on the question that x is a square number, then it must be 4. And actually, you can't measure minus 10.5. It won't exist at all. OK, so therefore, to answer the question, we'd have to say the value of x is positive 4. Hope that's useful. Please add a comment if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.